What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Black Mist, and I'm back here with the homie Phantom Universe X. Introduce yo. yourself, player. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Phantom Universe X from the Phantom Universe X channel. This is going on both the channels, and we get them both them nice views and them ad revenue. I'm just kidding. We don't need it. <laughs> yeah, we don't do this for any money, guys. We only do this for your entertainment pleasure. Just keep that in mind, okay? Hold on, let me turn on my fan, because like my fan is like really loud. Okay, there we go, guys. So, right now, we're going to be reviewing or giving our impressions on episode 3 of Mob Psycho 100, which that episode was lit, honestly, it out of was. all the three episodes now, that episode definitely was the best. This man went Mob Explosion 100. Exactly, and like... I thought they were gonna wait till the end of the series for that, but no, they were like, here you go. This is how it is. This is how we gonna do it. That means, he, if he went 100 now, I mean, he's, he's gonna go 100. Uh, you, it could be 24 episodes, you don't know. That's true. And we don't know if he can surpass 100. What if he can surpass 100? That's what I'm... Oh, my God. I pretty much going, like, I would say Super Saiyan of the Esper world. <laughs> it's just going yeah, over, yes. like, I don't know, like, pushing it to the limit. Plus Ultra, like, in Boko no Hero Academia. Oh, Man, my God. now... And he's already a destructive force to reckon with. That's why he keeps his... Like, now we find out why he has kind of the bored expression on his face. It's mainly because he doesn't want to show his emotions out. So basically, Mob is trying to keep up with the, you know, the body improvement club, but not, no, he can't. He's a very slow runner, and eventually he passes out, and they have to take him back, and they just tell the girl that's a part of the, um, psychic club, like, can you watch him? He, he's not the best at this. He truly is not the best at this. And she yeah. does. <laughs> and the whole time she's trying to convince him building muscles will not make you popular. But he's like, you know what? I want to just make myself a man. A big, strong man. And that's when like, the girl said, oh no, that's horrible. If you want to get popular, you need to be able to read girls' minds with telepathy. That's when he's like, hmm, all right. Then he goes back to Regan. Uh, yeah, it's Regan, right? Yeah. Yeah, then Regan says, trust me, Mob, that's not going to work. I've been with plenty of women, and I know reading their minds is not going to work. Even though it's not like he can't read his mind because he's a freaking fraud anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just saying, though, like... He's gonna over give Mob bad advice, even though he doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. Yeah, and then, as, as soon as Mob's walking home, this weird lady, bro, like, from like the. She's like, look, weird she's like, cult lady. The wave mask. Like, that's the, like, yeah, that's some creepy ass shit. That's like Jehovah's Witnesses knocking at your door, being like, Would you like to hear the Jehovah's return? I know, and it's like probably like, I would say in their world, I would say at least like six or seven. So it was like kind of evening ish. So it was kind of getting dark. And this random lady walks up to him and says, Hey, like she like came up with all these excuses like, Oh yeah, are you having family problems? No. no, um, no blah, blah, blah. No. Then as soon as like she went through all these things, like all these topics trying to like get to know him, like a psychic, like a fake psychic pretty much. Yeah. That's when he brought up love. He's like, How'd you know? Like, bro, she just went through like 10 things. Obviously, she's fake too. But, you know, he was like, you know what? I'm surprised he doesn't notice it because Regan does the same shit. I know, but you already know he's dense. Yeah. Again, Mom is so dense, bro. Like, there's no saving him, pretty much. He's just like, okay, I'll listen to you, lady. Oh, sorry. The lady's like, do you want to come with us? Now nah, I have to go home. I'll make you popular. All right, I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> so next thing you know, they're in this elevator. Then it opens up. And you just see at least, like, I would say over 100 people in this small, cramped little room. But, like, these, these creepy masks on, bro. Like, I don't mess with stuff like that. I don't, I mess don't fuck with that. Exactly. I don't fuck with someone in a random, in the middle of the day saying, I'm going to make you popular. No, no, no. She's trying to get at your booty hole, mob. Run. <laughs> Peer pressure. Don't do it, mob. Don't do it. Want the booty hole. So then, eventually, everybody like, grabs him and throws him on the stage with one of the girls from his school, which is in the yearbook club, and this other random guy that they found on the park bench. <laughs> so <laughs> that's when like the main leader of the cult comes out. What was it? Like, what was his name? Mr. I, Dimple. Mr. Dimple. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Dimple comes out and he's like, "Hello, everybody. Are you laughing?" Then everybody starts laughing. Like, no, that. No, that's they're creepy as shit. Cool. Like, then he's like, okay, buddy, take off your mask. Dude, they're, like, their mouths. It was all, like, it was like when a Joker put laughing gas on people. I know, like, ugh. I was like, is this the Joker for anime? Yeah, pretty much, so, like, do you just want to keep on going with this? Because, like, um, I'm just getting creeped out just by thinking about it, man. Yeah, no, 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 let's kind of skip over to his, the mob, I mean, to the milk test. 
Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so, Mob was like, they tried to put like this little mask over him that like, makes you, like, I guess, hypnotizes the person that puts it on and makes them laugh. But obviously, Mob being super dense as he is, having no emotion, it didn't work. So, that's when Mr. Dimple's like, all right, Mob, if this doesn't work, and to face three of our gym leaders in order to make you smile. If we make you smile, you have to join us forever. So pretty much they had to drink some milk. It's pretty much like the laugh, like the try not to laugh thing, like what you do with your friends or what you see on YouTube, how you drink water and try to like not laugh and spit on each other. It's pretty much like that, but with milk. So Mob ended up defeating all three of the guys, but then after Mr. Dimple walked in and said, you know what? No, Mob, those guys are weak. You're gonna face me. Then honestly, like, they put roofies in his milk or something, cause like his mouth and it started bubbling out of his eyes. They Cosby his milk. <laughs> Pretty much, like he didn't pass out though. But then that's when Mob saw through that. He's like, "No, I didn't laugh. I know you're a ghost. I'm gonna spill your psychic energy." Then that's when the guy comes out of Mr. Dimple's body. He's like, "Everybody, attack him, dude!" That's like at least thousand people jumping on him at once. And may we say he's already at ninety-four percent of the Mob explosion. When exactly. all of them jumped on him, one hundred was activated. And by God, I think that is the second most overpowered thing in anime besides Saitama's one punch in Goku's Super Saiyan God Kaioken. Uh, have you seen The Matrix? Oh yeah, I've seen The Matrix. You remember when Neo's at the bottom of like all the Mr. Smiths and he just jumps up and throws everybody off? Oh yeah, at the, um, I think that was in the final movie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about when Mob threw everybody off, bro. I just went full on a hundred. He was like, let's go. You wanna fight me? He's like, let's go, fam. Let's go. He's like, he's like, if you're gonna try to kill me, do it. But that's gonna be easier for you than trying to make me laugh. Like, that's like the most badass thing to ever say to anybody. Like, even I was like, all right, mob, I see you, my boy. I see you. The Man. best thing was when he put his foot over his face. He's like, you wanna see my emotion? You brought them out. And you just looked at him like, are you a monster? He was like, I'm terrible. Mob is way too that. Like, even though he has a blank face, he says the dopest stuff sometimes. Not gonna lie. That is it's, like Thomas' little brother. That, there's no way that can't be. It has to be, man. Like, I felt like say Thomas isn't human, as well as Mob. Like they're both from like a different planet. They're, so that's like just going off the shape of their head and like their emotions, this expression. They're, they're aliens, aliens, bro. Though. They're like, aliens, bro. Yeah. Like, where's the X Files at? Because <laughs> there's no way these guys are human. Their power levels are just way too over 9,000. What is 9,000 to them? They don't have that. <laughs> they go straight over to freaking zero to 100. That's what they got. They don't have a 1,000. <laughs> and that's all I'm asking. Can he go over 100? Because usually, anime like to do where they start off at their base form being like 100. Then like they start like going exceeding that. I mean, I already have two examples of that. Natsu to um, Kirito. They both go over their natural limit in certain boss battles. Goku has always gone like full, like, we thought Super Saiyan 1 was only one. Then he comes out of nowhere with Super Saiyan 3, Super exactly. Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, well, Super Saiyan Blue. Then he comes out of nowhere with Super Saiyan Kaioken. Man. And that was enough. And, like, we, we just see these characters, like Kirito, Goku, Saitama at one point with that rage mode. True. If you true. read the manga, you know what I'm talking about with that rage mode. Oh my god. You right. think that he kills people with one punch. What if he kills you with about five of them? And I believe Issei from high school, DD, he also went over 100 in some battles to try to save Rias. I think so, in a harem anime, I don't remember what it was called, Marvel Horror or something. One of the main protagonists, he could only use his magic three times, but the third time he far exceeded his limit and pretty much destroyed the school. And didn't Deku from Boku no Hero go over 100 sometimes? Yes. yes. That's why he yes, always another one. Up... Like, there's so many animes where the, yeah. the protagonist goes over their natural abilities. And he's like defeating the boss out of nowhere. So now we're just waiting for Mob to like exceed and go 110%. It's a pretty much after Mob defeats the whole boss, he goes back home, talking to Regan again, saying, Why am I so boring? And he's like, you know what? You're just really stupid. <laughs> then that, like, that's how it ends. Like, like, that's how it is, pretty much. Like, he just calls him, like, shit up dense and just fades off. Outro. He was just like, um, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, you forgot about the one part, like, towards the end of the episode, well, in the preview for the next episode. Well, we see that little goat that they saved that was in the goat that was, um, you know, one of those biker gangs actually become Mob's partner. 
Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. So but, I guess in the next episode review, we gotta cover on that. It, I it, can't wait to see that, guys. But if you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to both our channels, Phantom Universe X. His description will be. In, I just messed up. His link will be in the description. My like, yeah, all that stuff. Like, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat. Don't follow me on Snapchat. That's only for, like personal stuff. I'm going off track. Okay, so if you want to see Mob Psycho, it's also on Crunchyroll, and I already I also check his anime. It's on there as well. It's also on Go Go Anime. Oh yeah, and, go, and that one too. So on Crunchyroll, they upload a new Mob Psycho every Monday at 9:30. So like we kind of like waited until this one first came out to go watch it to be like one of the first reviewers on. I was asleep. Yeah, and I woke up like at 9:20. It's like, oh, that's perfect. But I text, I text Phantom, and he's like, oh, I just woke up like at 9:50. It's like, bro, the episode's been out for like 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? I was up all night. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I was up till 11. Editing, then I went to sleep. It's all good, man. It's all good. But, but uh, once again, do you have any closing statements, Phantom? Big booty bitches. Big booty bitches. Mob always getting them big booty bitches. That's okay. It. Okay, I guess that works. I guess. No comment. <laughs> no comment on that, man. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Later, guys. Peace out, guys.